wanted to share my first time how to for disposing a lipo battery and I have a dead cell number two but I've tried different things to actually revive that cell and get it working and just no luck and I'd read some different ways for disposing these lipos one is that you get a bucket of salt water you know dump the lipo on there I'm sure you guys may have seen videos with someone taking an axe or a nail and hammer so I figured I'd try to do something a little bit more safe and environmentally friendly. There's a great article that talks about this approach that I'll post in the description below, but what you see here is a pack of 12 volt light bulbs that I got from the local auto store. I believe it was $4 for two. So it's a 12 volt and I've soldered an XT60 connector on there and all I'm gonna do is connect the LiPo and then let it drain over time. I actually have a little ammo box here. Wanted to have it in a somewhat fire safe enclosure while I do this test. Okay, so I'll go ahead and connect up the light bulb. See we're on. You can see our light bulb getting really dim. And to get to where we are, it took about six hours. Now our light bulb is completely out. And you'll notice it's just a little bit puffed up, swollen which tends to happen as you drop that cell voltage. Continuously monitor this. It really never got too hot. It got a little bit warm, but it was a nice slow discharge. So I'll go ahead and disconnect the light bulb now and then take a reading with a balance connector. You can actually see that it doesn't have enough power to even light up the LEDs. So what I'll do instead is I'll just take a direct reading from the XT60 plug on the battery. Looks like we're at 1.9 volts. So next we're gonna cut these leads. So after clipping the wires, you can see that I stripped off some of the insulation. And the somewhat nerve-wracking part was that I just quickly tapped these two leads together and there was a little bit of a spark. It wasn't even visible. You could just hear the sound because we had drained this to such a low voltage. You can see that I've soldered these two leads together, but before I did that, I just took a reading after I had shorted these two leads and we were sitting at zero volts. And after getting this far along with it, I've been wondering what to do next. Is it actually uh, safe to put in the regular trash? And I'll post a link to the RC Toys article below, but it says these are landfill safe. So we'll put this guy out for trash pickup. And if I see a burning garbage truck driving down the road, I'll definitely let you guys know. I wanted to share that process with you guys. As I mentioned earlier, it's the first time I've done this. And there are obviously varying schools of thought on how you drain your LiPo battery, but I'd have to consider this relatively safe compared to some of the other methods that I've read. So be sure to check out the links below just in case you want to do your own version of this. If you have any thoughts or suggestions on how you've done it or recommendations, I'd love to hear them. And until next time, thanks for watching.